Hi, I'm Samantha Burford with WBONTV.com. We're here today at Madison Central talking to Coach Mark Centers. He's the head coach of the Madison Central Indians. Coach, you guys have a big game coming up this Friday night, but before we get there, let's talk about this past Saturday night. Doc Sibble Bowl, you guys played in the first game. Tough loss to a very good Southwestern team. Well, yeah, they are extremely good and, and uh, yeah, well deserving of their number five ranking in 5A. They, you know, good football team with a great running back and a couple of nice athletes to go along with them. Uh, you know, we, I felt like we fought hard at times. We, we played, we played hard throughout the game, but we just made too many mistakes. And, uh, you know, we, with a, a running back uh, as capable as Edwards and, 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 and some of the, some of the things that went against us uh, in that game in terms of, uh, you know, some, some things that I felt should have been called that weren't, uh, you know, it, it's just, uh, it is what it is, uh, but but it certainly didn't help us in ter in those terms. So, you know, we just got to play on. Uh, you know, we, uh, uh, I guess uh, someone told me the other day that, that, that our rankings were still pretty good despite the two losses, which is a testament to the competition that we're playing. And, you know, we, we've been right in, in, in our two losses and, and, of course, you know, ha had some pretty good luck over Woodford County. So, you know, we're sitting here at one and two. We are where we are, but, you know, it, there's no doom and gloom. It, it, we're we're going to get ready and we're going to go and and uh you know we've got the 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 remaining three games of this pretty tough four game stretch here uh you know starting with southern uh, you know uh tomorrow night but uh you know outside of that you know we've just got to continue to get better and go and we've got a great group of kids we're going to be fine now you haven't always started Derek miller is your quarterback your thoughts on that going to start him this friday night well, you know, we uh, we started off the season, you know, in the scrimmage uh, with Kenton and, and Derek both split time and, and, and did pretty well. They they both split time in the Lexington mm -hmm. Catholic game and did pretty well, you know. But, you know, with with Kenton's value to us on defense, he's a very, very good defensive player. Uh, and, and you know, we feel like at this moment, uh, you know, the, our, our best bet is to allow Kenton to focus on defense and be a very, very capable and reliable uh, backup. And then, you know, Derek is getting his opportunity to show that that, that he deserves this opportunity to start and, and, and continue to earn that. And, you know, this is his chance, you know, to, to show what he can do and, and show that he can be a leader for a football team uh, both on the field and off. Uh, you know, and that's one of the things I admire about both the kids. You know, both the kids, uh, you know, have handled the situation very well. Kenton is is already kind of established as a little bit of a leader on our team because of his role on defense. But, you know, yeah, you know, we we feel very confident that we can win football games with both of those guys. But for the moment, with the mix of kids that we've got and and with where people fit into the grand scheme of things the best, uh, you know, we're we're going to go with Derek and see where that goes. Now, defensively, you know Madison Southern has several weapons. Of course, Carter Smith is the main one, number 43. They also have Alex Knuckles, uh, Nate Eads. How are your plans coaching your defense on stopping them? Well, they're, they're a very formidable offense and defense, to be honest with you. You know, uh, the the one thing, they, they do have, you know, a handful of key guys playing a lot of reps on both sides of the ball, you know, even if they don't. You know, they're not starters per se on both sides of the ball. They do take a lot of reps. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of our backups take reps on the other side of the ball from where they start. But, you know, with Carter, he, he's a, a phenomenal offensive and defensive player. Uh, it does not seem to take a toll on him as it does some players. You yeah. see him playing both ways. He seems to play very strong throughout the four quarters. So, you know, obviously that's that's a big part. They've got a very good offensive line, uh, you know, anchored by Living Good. He's he's phenomenal and, and a, a great kid to boot from, from all indications. Um, you know, and you mentioned Nate Eads and, and Knuckles and some of those guys that are kind of playing their uh, outside linebacker safety type position there. Both of those guys are really good. So, you know, uh, you know, and and you know, a guy that that doesn't really get a ton of accolades for them defensively is is Hunter Richardson, and yeah. and he's a heck of a ball player. You know, he he uh, you know will line up anywhere on the field it appears, but but certainly he's you know spent some time at defensive end and does a good job there, and and uh, you know of, of, has proved in the past to be a very capable safety. So, you know, they've got weapons all over the field. This is a very strong class for them in, in terms of their senior class and. A lot of you know nice uh, key players that that they have that are in their underclassmen that complement their seniors well. So uh, Knuckles and Benton in particular, and, uh, and you know, and, and you know, it'd be remiss not to mention Stacy. He's I guess in his second or third year, probably at least two and a half years mm -hmm. now as a starter, and and uh, you know he does a good job. They seem to have a lot of confidence in him. Uh, he's thrown the ball well at times this year, and, and and obviously does a good job of running their offense. So a lot of weapons all over the place. We're going to have to be sound to, and and very disciplined in our our assignments to get after them. 
Now, a lot of these kids have played ball together over the years, whether it be middle school, youth leagues. Um, any trash talking going on this week? I'm not aware of any. Uh, honestly, you know, for for the first time in several years, yeah. uh, the it, it, you know that's something that that uh, I guess a couple years ago we had to kind of quiet down a little bit, and uh, last year it wasn't too bad, but but I'm sure there was some banner back and forth, and and, and at this point, you know, uh, I think both teams are pretty focused on the game, which I think also shows you that both of these senior groups, you know, they you like you mentioned, they've competed against each other for a long time, uh, but also they. They are pretty veteran groups, you know, as far as their leadership roles on the team and thing goes. So, you know, hopefully, you know, at least from our side, you know, we're focusing on what matters and that's getting ready for Friday night. You have to be happy that this has got to be a home game, hoping that the fans turn out to support. Well, you know, we're always happy to be playing here. There's no question about it. I mean, we got one of the finest facilities in the state, and when we're, you know, we host the Roy Kidd Bowl and host a lot of middle school bowls and things like that, and, and we know we're blessed with our facility, and, and it's something we take a lot of pride in, and, and uh, you know, hopefully we do a good job of defending the home turf. You know, it, it's uh, definitely a, a big piece of the puzzle, and, and uh, you know, we know that they're going to they're gonna come here wanting to take one from us the way we were able to take one from them at their place last year. So, a little revengeful. Yeah, there's, a, there's no no question that, that that's going to be on a lot of people's minds so you know I mean it, this is a great test you know I've mentioned it before I think I probably mention it every time we play uh, it's a great rivalry uh, it, it's a necessary rivalry it's good for our county it's good for football in our county the best thing about this thing is you know after at about 10 30 Friday night we can kind of root for each other and I yeah. hope they do great in 5a and, and hopefully they're pulling for us in 6a yeah. this game's a little earlier than it typically is usually it's at the end of the season it is you know we, we had the two-year cycle there with the game being mm-hmm. week 10 and uh, I really like the game being in week 10 our freshman and JV program still play the last week of the regular season uh, which I, I personally really like and 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 I believe coach Clark did too but you know our athletic directors felt like the game uh, needed to be moved back uh, you know closer to the beginning of the season back into September and you know certainly we have uh, it appears that we're gonna have phenomenal weather uh, that, football that, weather yeah absolutely that can't hurt anything yeah. and uh, you know with it being you know the weekend after Labor Day and you know not you know, to the best of my knowledge, there's absolutely no reason why anybody wouldn't be out of here at this football game Friday night. Yeah. It's it's going to be the place to be. And with it being a little earlier in the season, hopefully you've got more players, less hurt, less injured. Yeah, well, I hope so. You know, we we've been battling some some bumps and bruises for a while, and and, and some kids are banged up here and there. But you know, we're with their everybody that we've got, with the exception of a couple of our young sophomores who who've had to have uh, knee surgery. Uh, everybody that we got is pretty well game time decision. So so we we should be okay and you know you know hopefully for those guys they are too because you know I mean this this is a big game and and especially for those seniors you know that it's a very important game for mm-hmm. for our guys in theirs and and you know we, we want it to be a special game and and uh, you know have have all the the pomp and circumstance if you want to call it that that, that it deserves but uh, you know it is just one game and once it's over we've all got to focus on district That's right all right coach thank you very much good luck Friday night thank you very much appreciate it all right and I'm Samantha Burford here with head coach of the Madison Central Indians football team for WBONTV.com.